everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts, and today I want to show you guys how I dye with coffee my paper towels. That I did a video the other day, and um, I was using the coffee dyed paper towels to decoupage with, and um, I made some fun things with that. So I will put the link down below so you guys can check out what I was making. And I asked you guys if you guys would be interested in seeing how I coffee dye my paper towels. And I had a bunch of responses, so I will show you guys. Okay. And I might throw in some other little surprises, too. So stay tuned for those. All right. So to start off is I do paper towels. I know there's people that do napkins and all that, but I can never find any cool napkins where I go. So I'm not sure. It's probably just me. I just, I don't notice them, I guess. But paper towels, I see them a lot and I love them. And this is one that you guys have probably seen me use a lot. Uh, I love the butterfly on it and then the flowers. And it's just a roll of paper towels. And I love it. Okay, so there's this one. So it's a nice decorative. And I have some other ones here that are fun. And I just see what kind of, dec you know, fun little things they have on them. And yeah, I mean, I love the little swirly uh, pattern on the napkin here. So it's really cool. So just different little things that you see. Okay, and then I have this one. So I hope this is showing up good over here. I'm over in my tie-dye area, hence the tie-dye towel here <laughs> that I have laid down so I have a so I don't care I got a big huge mess happening if uh, it doesn't even matter and um, I'm over here by my window and I got one lamp right here maybe I'll do that that might help so it was pouring down rain now we kind of got some sun peeking through so that might help okay so and this is another one that I liked and it's just you know just some fun, whimsical little things. And then plus it's gonna be coffee dyed, so it's not gonna, you know, you're not really focusing on the pattern too much. Okay, and then I have coffee. And I don't, it doesn't matter if it's decaf or caffeinated. It's, we're not gonna drink it. Uh, I wouldn't suggest to drink it after what we're gonna do with it. <laughs> and uh, I had this forever. My husband drank coffee and I think it was like a year ago. And I've had it up in the cupboard. And I'm like, oh, I got, you know, I got coffee. I want to start doing some coffee dyeing. I went and opened it and looked in it and it was a chunk. There was like this much left and it was just like a solid brick. So what I did today is I took like an ice pick, put it in here and then took a hammer and chiseled it. So it's pretty funny like that. I don't know if you guys can see it here. Let's see. So that's why I went ahead and pre-made it because it's just like, <laughs> like rocks is what it is. So even if you have old coffee, get it out, use it. I heated this up in my uh, kettle and I got it to like 190 degrees. So I got it war really warm uh, and then put these in there and let them sit and dissolve and then uh, took it with just like a skewer or even a chopstick or something. I have one of those somewhere. Uh, and then you just take it and just give it a good stir it's like that or a spoon I mean you could use a spoon too but this is uh my craft I leave this in my craft room it's my cute little I don't think you guys can see it I might have to show you as I'm pouring but it's a cute little owl and uh I used it the other day to do some painting and I stuck the paintbrush in it and went oh well it's in my craft room now because once I contaminate something I just leave it in here and then uh now it's mine to play with so yeah, so I just use like whatever, just something to stir it, let it dissolve. So there we go. All right, so you got your coffee ready. Right. And I don't really measure, I just kind of look at it to see how dark I want to get it. Okay, so we got that. And then parchment paper. Two reasons. First reason is it's a nice waxy, you know, barrier so it doesn't get on your table uh even though i do and i'll show you guys my craziness here i got my towel right an old towel i got a trash bag and then i have a tote lid 
like one of the lids from like an old tote. I think the tote like cracked and broke, so I kept the lid. And this catches like, this helps with my tie dye. It catches like everything. So it doesn't just ruin. This is just one of those fold out plastic tables that you can get like at Walmart or, you know, I have a Bymart just right down the road. Uh, and yeah, so this is my tie dye area for a reason. So this tote helps grab and, and it sometimes will get puddles in it and then I have to dump it and, but it helps. So you got I got a trash bag. So this is some layers you could do, you know, if you don't want to make a big mess. Uh, on your table, but I got that. And then this also helps, it will seep through and get some wet on the other side. But that's the first reason, is just to help with the barrier. And the second reason is I love, love, love the way it turns out. This one's a little damp still. Uh, and you can see I've had coffee experiments and dyes and been doing stuff on this. and. I got another special thing I'll show you guys that I put on to dye, but it gets this parchment paper really cool. And I will show you guys a video. I had tea dyed parchment paper and I was showing you guys how I tea dye some fabric and all that stuff. And I think that might be down in the links below. Uh, let me know if it's not, or just look through my channel and you guys will see it's, um, I was tea dyeing. I was showing you guys how to tea dye, uh, fabric and paper and stuff like that. And then Afterwards, I used the parchment paper and cut it and made cool little uh, little bags with it. Uh, hold on, let me find one. Okay, so here, let me move my lamp over. Oh, there we go. That might help a little bit. And what I did is just these fun little bags with you guys. Uh, this is the one with tea dye. And you can tell the difference a little. Like the coffee is a little darker. But it's these cute little bags that you can put in your junk journals. And like this is a bigger one. And I did a little gesso or, uh, and then it was a stencil and it didn't turn out so cute, but whatever. I just did a little some stuff on top of it just for fun. And if you guys would like to see how I make these, I will try to link them below and remind me if I do not, my goodness. So I'll try to get that below for you guys. And if not, it might already be down there. Cause I got a bunch of links down there for you guys to come check out, but there we go. And then the other side, I didn't really do anything on, but you could see that it kind of seeped through. So if you want, I wouldn't use just this if you're like have a really nice table or something you're worried about underneath getting ruined with coffee. Uh, I would definitely layer up, you know, with some towel and maybe a trash bag underneath or something. But yeah, so this is what we're going for. So that's definitely the second reason I like it. But this one was tea and I want to darken it. So I might throw that one in today too. So you take your parchment paper. And this is real easy, guys. So, I mean, and just as much as you want. How crazy you're going to get. Okay. And now. Okay, let me go ahead and I'm going to rip off some pieces here. And let me get prepped. So I am all set up here. And we got our coffee. Okay. And I'm just going to do, it's going to get messy, but that's the fun part. Is gloves, for sure. And let's just go ahead. some stuff down and remember paper towels are absorbent so that will be our friend right now and I keep them double ply because I use the other parts too because once you get them coffee dyed they look really cool okay so it's really this easy and then you can also put it around your parchment paper because I'm trying to dye that too so, but if you're not too concerned about that, you can just stack them on top of each other in one spot. But this is what I do here. And then, uh, like I said, you can darken this. And uh, was I showing you guys? I don't even know if I showed you. Uh, you could darken it with more coffee and, you know, however you want to do it. But this is what I was doing. I'm just dipping in my hand in it and going like that. 
So that's why I'm wearing gloves, because this will coffee stain your hands. I've been there, done that. Okay. And then I'm just sticking it down. And just doing a little more where I want it. parchment paper because it makes really cool uh, wrinkles and stuff in it too you know like in the parchment paper as you dye it so there we go and don't worry if you're not getting in any certain spots and stuff it will absorb so it definitely will so I'm just taking it like this. let me get some over on this paper Make sure you're getting your parchment paper how you want it. Okay. So however much you want. Okay. There we go. Just make sure you guys are in frame here. that and it just absorbs right up okay so there we go Put a little more on top so just depending on how much you want to do you can keep stacking okay and what I did today when I was taking the ice pick and you know making chunks of this I went and shook the lid and the lid wasn't on all the way so it kind of went all over I right know and uh so I grabbed some paper towel and started wiping it up and I was like oh I might have found something cool so I left some of the chunks just like that so you could take some coffee and just sprinkle some around like after you get all this done Let's do it. But look at how cool that is. I mean, how fun is that? So that was just a happy little accident for sure. You know, like Bob Ross says, you know, you're happy little accidents. They're always great. And then this one I did, but I didn't get as much coffee on it. But look at that. I mean, how cool is that? So that's kind of a fun look too. And they're soaking wet right now, but how neat is that? So these are just great to use for decoupage and in pocket or uh, in projects. Like you know, you know, you could you could decoupage anything and make a pocket with it. Uh, you know, a belly band, a corner tuck. Uh, do a cool um, master board, and you know, add some of this to it and decoupage and do some tea bags on it and some. Uh, pattern paper and stuff like that and do a cool master board and just make it look all grungy and then you can cut those up and use them as all kinds of things so I think I'm gonna layer it still because I want to do that right um, hold on let's move this out of the way because I'm gonna sprinkle some more coffee so we'll lay those to the side here I should just let them dry like that and I want to take some more coffee. And your guys' won't be chunky like mine. <laughs> but I don't know, the chunks might be my advantage right now because you kind of get some cool big chunks. Well, that's, that's too big of a chunk. Okay, so let's see. I mean, it really seriously got dried up. So I'm wondering if I just take some chunks here but you can also take your coffee and just sprinkle it. <laughs> it, might, it might be easier. But I'm thinking these cool chunks might work, you know. So I'm just going to put those around. And then let's sprinkle. This is just experimenting, you know. See what you got. Hanging. Hanging around and start putting it on here. Let's see what happens. 
Well, some of these are pretty big chunks. I don't know how big a chunks I want. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to take some coffee. And then activate it here. And we're going to let these sit for at least overnight until they're dry. So there you go. Let's try that. So you guys take it and sprinkle yours. I'm sure yours isn't as old as mine. And uh, you'll get a different effect, you know. It's going to be pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Saturate it. And let's go ahead and grab some more. I mean, how fun is that? And then it should seep through and do some cool, uh, just like this, you know? Cause that's been sitting for a little bit, maybe, mm, maybe 30 minutes to an hour. It's been sitting like that and it's kind of jellyfied right there. So that's kind of neat. Even take some of that and go like that with it. Yeah, yeah. And then until you're happy with it, you know? You just kind of keep messing around. But that's pretty much it here. And then, you know, just keep going. Do some layers, as many layers as you want. It'll just take a little longer to dry, you know? But it smells really good in here. <laughs> like a coffee shop. Okay. And then we got a big chunk here. So... I'm kind of liking how lighter these are, so I got a drying rack. I'm going to set it over there because I kind of want to keep these lighter like that. So just depending on how you want to do it, you know, there's so many different ways you can do this. All right. So I'm really, I'm liking the chunks and the sprinkling effect. Because if you go ahead and just sprinkle around and do, you know, maybe some more coffee over here, sprinkled, and then, you know, get it wet, just add a little bit, and then, you know, maybe do a little sprinkling here, and it's kind of cool. Okay, so there we go. So that's pretty much the concept on how I coffee dye my paper, or my paper towels. But I'm sure you could do the same thing with uh, napkins, of course, and uh, even papers, you know? You could throw some papers in here and do the same thing. Just do the same kind of concept, you know? I'm sure this will work for, you know, other things. And that's what one reason I said I wanted to show you guys a little surprise and let's see. Okay, I'll show you also what else I did because, I mean, you can throw fabric on here and do the same thing. Okay. All right, so let's do a little of this. And then now I wanna show you guys what I was talking about. Okay. I mean, it's not so much of a, like a huge surprise, but it's kind of fun to play with is I, ha I make my, uh, rainbow gift bags and I've talked about those before and I this is my tie-dye area for that kind of stuff and my banner flags that I do uh but uh I use cotton rope with it so and sometimes I don't have um like the rope's too short or it, the bag got messed up or whatever and I have to cut all the rope off and I don't ever want to throw it away and so I have a bunch of it you know and it's just the cotton and it's a cool uh and this is for the cinch part where you cinch up the bag on the top. And I'm like, these would be great for junk journals, for dangles, for all kinds of stuff. So I, I want to coffee dye them. And I do the same concept. I just throw some down like this. 
So like I said, you can do, you know, you can do fabrics. You can do uh, lace. Lace is a good one. Um, you know, paper, ribbon, just any lighter kind of thing like this, you know, like a cream or white or like a paler color will definitely coffee dye for you. So here we go. So I just put those down and then just keep adding some more coffee. And it'll absorb because it's cotton for sure. So you just want to make sure it's an absorbent material that you're using. Okay. You know, and then after it sits for a little bit, you can come turn it and stuff and play with it. Just make sure you get it to your liking. So there we go. And you know, you could keep going. You could just keep going. You can um, add another layer of. Uh, oops, let's do this one. Got an avalanche happening. Uh, let's do a little bit more. This. So you could just lay that on top, like that, and maybe get some cool patterns in here so you know just try different things whatever your heart desires and you will come up with some cool stuff just experiment you know don't be afraid to get things out and experiment and throw it all together and see what happens oh but I was gonna show you that's my little owl is he cute he's pretty cute so He's mine now for my craft room. He keeps me company. <laughs> okay. Okay. We've done many of projects. So here we go. There we go. All right. So, yeah. So that's how I do my paper towels. And then you just let it sit, let it dry. And I will show you guys the finished product because I have some finished. And what I got here, and these are my, here, I'll show you this one first. So I coffee dyed these. These are all like, I don't want to lay them on there because they're already coffee dyed. Make sure you guys can see them. So I got all these coffee dyed. And what I did is I laid them under on my bottom shelf. Well, it's like a rack over there. And, uh, I laid these across to dry on there with the, with the parchment paper and stuff. And I did some tie dyeing up top with my banner flag. So they got all different colorful colors. It's like a rainbow color on each one. It's a different color banner flag. And as it was dripping, it dripped on to the paper towel. And I thought it looked really cool. So I got that effect. I mean, I got some orange that you guys can see that because it's pretty cool so you got the orange that dripped so you can take your oxides or your you know your uh, ink pads even and um i just wouldn't you know uh, um i would take your ink pad and maybe put it over onto like like uh, over to like another piece of like uh plastic or something and rub the ink pad on there and then spritz it and maybe do it that way because you don't want to get your ink pad. you don't want to do this like if you took your ink pad right now and did it on here it would ruin your ink pad it would get it just coffee stained and that wouldn't be good but if you did it separate and did some of it but the oxides would work the best you know like take the oxide sprays and uh you could do some spritzing and stuff like that see mine are like in a tie-dye form like this like i could take this right now hey we could experiment but uh yeah, so the, I think these are turned out really cool. I know I'm all over the place today, but uh, there's the coffee right there. You can see, and then some red that happened. So, uh, yeah, you could totally do that. And then we'll do that in a minute. But uh, also, scraps. These are all the little scrapped coffee dyed pieces that I just keep in here. And I grab them out when I'm decoupaging or wanting to do some projects with them. 
So I just keep them in a little container. But that's how they turn out. They're pretty cool. And you get like different effects with them. Like that. So they're pretty fun. So yeah, I mean, this is a great way to do some fun dyeing and stuff. But yeah, if we wanna take some, hold on, right here I have some spray. I got some spray. And what I use, and I've showed you guys before, is RIT dye. So this is my RIT dye that I use. Sorry, I'm probably shaking the camera. But this one's golden yellow, but this is RIT dye. I have tons of colors because, you know, I make all kinds of rainbow stuff. And uh, you just take a little bit of it, I would say a half a lid, if that, to do like this size. And you put it in there with water and dilute it. So it's just a liquid. Okay. And, uh, it's just for, it's usually for fabric, you know, clothes or fabric or stuff, but I dye my paper with it. I, you know, use it, put a stencil down, do some spritzing, do it that way. I dye paper towels with it. I, I dye all kinds of stuff with it, but, uh, you could just take a spray bottle or take the oxides, like I was saying, and just do, you know, you could do some fun, just some spritzing like that. So you could do that, or you can even take you know, however you want to do it. I don't know if yellow will show up that good. Maybe red. And then we can just do some, some fun little drips and stuff throughout. I don't even know if that's showing up, but we got some blue. I got aqua blue. This one always shows up good. Uh, so yeah, so you can tie dye your stuff if you want. And it'll soak, it'll soak through for sure. But just give it some character. You know, add a little bit of something. Why not? I was saying, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to experiment and just, uh, that one's turning out pink. That's kind of cool. And just seeing what will happen, you know, if you add a little bit of something. If you get a little bit of something on it, you know. Like I said, you, you could just, it doesn't have to, you know, you don't like it, just throw it away or recycle it or, you know, or you'll find, put it to the side and you'll definitely find a project to put it in and to mess with. But yeah, so that is how I dye my papers. Oh, my, uh, also I wanted to show you guys, I got some here. They're a little damp, but I did these the other day or yesterday. And these take a little bit longer, but these are the ropes or the, you know, the cotton rope. And I just did some fun, just coffee dye on it. And you can see it's just grungy and it's going to be great for dangles or closures or, you know, whatever you want to use them for. So that's why it's fun to do any kind of like ropes or ribbons or laces or uh, stuff like that. So throw those in your coffee dye. That will get all grungy and yummy for you. So I want to thank you guys for following along. And if you liked this video, please hit the like button. It helps me out so, so much. And if you could subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and you guys can see my next video when I post it. Like, comment, and share, and let's grow together and keep on crafting. <laughs>